Welcome everyone to Bonifab Custom. Today I have a special project for you. We are building a patio heater. Now, why are we building a patio heater? Well, because the weather has been getting colder and I have a bonfire this weekend uh, with some company and I need one. And the problem is you can't buy one because of COVID. Everyone's buying up all the patio heaters. So I'm gonna make one step by step and I'm gonna show you just how I do that with stuff around my shop. So I got material everywhere. Um, I need to find some way of burning wood or wood chips or wood pellets. So I, I've, I've had this water tank outside my shop for probably a few months. This one here. And I think I'm gonna use this for the um, wood burning part for the patio heater. I'm gonna take it inside and uh, cut it open. bent up this frame made out of stainless steel uh, 3 16 rod and fits good and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld it together and then I'm gonna actually spot weld it onto the uh, stainless steel cage spot welding with this uh, Chicago electric welding spot welder it actually works really well it uh, welds everything from um, I've I've spot welded aluminum stainless titanium steel it's great So for legs, I bent up some 3 16 stainless, 10 inches long, and I bent them in half at about a 30 degree angle, I think it is. And I'm gonna put them like this, and I'm gonna spot weld them here, and I'm gonna TIG weld them onto that main frame around. And that's all that's gonna hold my chips and my Basically, this is my burn box for inside the patio heater. It's 
So that's all done now. So it's all spot welded together. I'm gonna TIG weld now those legs right on this frame just to add some more strength. Because once this heats up and cools down, uh, stainless steel likes to move around a lot in the, when it heats up. So the grate is inside there, looks good, fits in. So what I want to make now is a door and it's going to be like a mesh door that's going to go over the front here. and. The reason for that is so I can have air coming in through that door. So I'll build that door out of some mesh. I'm going to put a frame around it and it'll be able to swing open and closed. Now, another thing I have to do with this opening is I have to actually cut this baffle part out. I'll chop that and then I can make my, it's going to have a little, I think I might make it out of stainless, but, um, We'll have a little plate here so you can put a pot on there if you wanted to. And my chimney stack is going to come out of this. And I was going to make that with some two, four chimneys um, that I bought. But I actually wanted to just keep it with stuff that I have in my shop. So now I'm thinking of using some of this uh, tube that I had just uh, stockpiled here for the last bunch of years and it's some stainless uh, tube so I'm thinking I would put four pieces of that two inch tube together it look pretty cool and it'll be kind of all four together bundled together and I'll kind of tack weld it and put that inside through this part here, this section of the of the patio heater. So I'm gonna make a door. So now I'm gonna bend up the frame part. I already bent the mesh, so the mesh is gonna fit something like that. But I'm gonna bend up this 3 16 rod to go around this profile and then I can um, I can spot weld it to this to this mesh, and the way I do that is with my little bender here, and I'll just make a bunch of small bends, and that's how I'm gonna have it roll around that profile. I'm going to tack weld these pieces I bent and tack weld it around the outside of this uh, door frame, uh, door mesh. Okay, so to make the chimney stack, I'm gonna use this two inch tube, this stainless tube, and it's the stuff I have left over for years, so uh, it's not costing me anything. I'm going to uh, cut it into 50 inch pieces, four of them, and I'm gonna put them together, I'm gonna tack weld them, and then that's gonna be the stack, and we're gonna fit it onto the bottom part of the uh, patio heater.
Okay, so now I have this on my weld table and I'm gonna first of all fuse where it's touching so then I can flip it around do the other do the other side and then I can weld a couple of spots so it doesn't fall apart. So I flipped it around. I'm gonna do the same to this side. And then I'm gonna use stainless steel filler rod to weld some sections of the tube so it doesn't break apart. And I'm gonna use stainless because this is stainless steel. If I used um, just normal mild steel for the uh, TIG rod, it would rust eventually. So this piece of stainless is going to go on top of the stack and then the hood's going to sit on top of that. So I'm just going to mark out four inch uh, segments and then I'm going to bend it into a square and weld it to the stack. this fitted up and I'm gonna make a couple of little tack welds there and then square it up template and I'm gonna put it on here somewhere like this in the middle and then I'm gonna cut it out So it's all rough cut out. We're going to try the stack inside there. See it fits and it's not too loose. Nice. Okay, so it fits in there nice. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and straighten it at the welding table and just make sure it's um, in line or parallel with the tank. And I'm going to do a couple of tacks on here and then I got to put some reinforcement for this stack on the inside so it doesn't look ugly on the outside. Welding. I have it on the welding table and it's all parallel to the welding table and 90 degrees with the tank. So now I'm going to Give it some tacks on the inside to keep it in the right spot and then I will reinforce it because it's going to need some reinforcement inside here or else with this sheet metal here it'll just bend with the weight of uh, this stainless steel stack.
so I got the tubes or the stack all welded in. It's reinforced inside. That was uh, a real pain to, uh, to weld around there on this, especially with this really thin material on this thicker material. But uh, now I'm gonna make some uh, probably stainless that's gonna go here and here as like a stove top kind of thing. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna weld that to this uh, outside of this main tank here or our firebox. So to put on this door hinge, I'm gonna put it like this. I actually took an M6 uh, bolt and I bent the head because I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna weld that to the door, something like that. And then I'm gonna use this piece of 3-8 stainless tube and I'm gonna weld the tube to the tank and that's what's gonna be my hinge. template for the top piece here that little stove top cooktop that I'm gonna make I'm gonna just get a piece of old cardboard and I'm just gonna trace out this out of some stainless steel. I cut the template out and now I'm going to bend it 90 degrees here so hopefully it fits on there. This part and ground it. It's pretty brutal. It's a lot. It's really hard to weld really thin wall or thin uh, metals, especially at the edges. So I got it welded, which is good. Ground it, didn't break off. Now I'm going to work on this back part, welding that all the way around, grind that done. Then I can work on putting some legs on. So I got the whole tank ground down. It took a little while to do. And now I leveled it so I know it's vertical. And I put it on top of this old uh, wheelbarrow tire. And now I bent up some 3 8 stainless rod. 16 inches, bent it right in half. So it's about 8 inches long and I bent it at a 30 degree angle and I'm gonna use those as legs. I'm gonna weld them right to the side. Like that. And then I can stand it up. So the legs turned out good. They seem to be uh, sturdy enough for the whole uh, unit. And I put a little magnet here and on here I welded a piece of just steel and now the door stays closed, which is good. And what I wanna do is 
I want to put a feed tube for the wood chips or the uh, pellets on this side. So I think I'm going to use a piece of tubing. It's going to come out and it's going to go right into the center of the burn box inside. So then I can, while it starts uh, going through the pellets, I can add some from the outside. I'm going to cut that out of some uh, two and a half inch uh, stainless tube. So I cut a piece of the uh, two and a half inch tube stainless and I put 45s on both ends so that when I put it through the feed tube like this, make it into the feed tube, I can easily drop in the pellets on one side and they should in theory drop into that uh, burn box on the other. So now I'm going to put a hole inside the, the main burn chamber and then I'll weld it all the way around. So that's basically where the feed tube's gonna go. I'm gonna give this a TIG weld all the way around and then that's done. Now it's all bent and to weld it all together I'm gonna to spot weld it and I use the offcut pieces I bent them so they'll go on the outside and I can spot this spot face this to the top and it will hold the whole thing together hopefully Thanks again everyone for watching Bonner Fab Custom as I built my pellet uh, burning patio heater. I'm going to be testing it out this weekend so in a few days I'll have a video out of just how it works. But if you have any questions on some details about the uh, patio heater just leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for all your support and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later on next week.